Hi YouTubers and welcome back to another book review on my channel. Oops, sorry, you guys probably can't see my face, so there you go. Okay, there we go. That's my favorite. Anyway, welcome back to another book review on my channel. And yes, if you haven't already guessed by the book I'm holding, I will be covering The Fault in Our Stories by John Green. So yeah, um I have read this book before and read the movie. Not with the movie, watched the movie, that's what I meant. Um, so yeah, I have watched the movie and read the book. Um, I'm pretty sure I read the book first, then watched the movie second, so yeah. Um, so, um, this book is, was a pretty popular book among young adults, and it still is a popular book among adults. Another popular book by John Green is Paper Towns which I've not read yet, or gotten the book to it yet, or watched the movie to yet. So, um, I'm probably gonna try finding Paper Towns next after this book, so, yeah. Um, anyway, The Fall No Stories by John Green. It's a pretty good book, I have to say. It's really, um, sad and tragic, because, um, if you haven't already, already read the book, then just let you know. Be ready for some tears, because you're really gonna get really sad once you read this book and watch the movie, because it's really sad. Um, anyway, yeah, this book is about a girl named Hazel, um, who has cancer, who has lung cancer, and she, um, basically grew up with it since she was, like, 13 years old, that she had lung cancer, and so she has to go around with this oxygen tank you know, um, with her because she has lung cancer and it's supposed to help breathe, and so ever since she has to fight with lung cancer and survive, and so basically at the beginning of the book, she doesn't really have much, I think, help in terms, I think, of, you know, living because she kn she knows that she doesn't really have much time to live due to lung cancer, so she doesn't really have the, like, per se, like, have many friends. I think she only has, like, one friend that we do get to, like, be introduced to and, men and get mentioned of throughout the whole entire book. Um, that was part of her old life, you know, before she got lung cancer or whatever, I think. But, you know what, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so basically, um, it, she stays at home and, you know, she's reading and she watches TV and all that, you know, like, a cancer, like, you know, a cancer patient would do, be doing because, you know, they can't typically normally do the normal kid stuff and go to school, hang out with friends, you know, and all that because, you know, they have certain illnesses that prevent them from doing so. So, yeah. And so, basically, her mom convinces her to go to, like, this therapy group um, down in the basement of, like, this rec center that apparently is some sort of, like, church also, too, I think, because it apparently has a picture of, like, God on the floor, so here's a picture, it's church, so, I don't know, it seems kind of odd that a church would be in the basement, but, anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so there she meets a few people, she meets a person named Patrick, and another person, and then, who, she meets there, and then she meets another person named Isaac, who becomes one of her close friends kind of this book too who has like I don't know some sort of like eye cancer or whatever that he has to get surgery on soon so yeah that's gonna make him blind um yeah and so then she meets another person named Augustus Water Waters um who eventually will become her love interest slash another main character in the book so um yeah, so she meets him, and when she meet when Hazel meets him, he's just so full of life and so full of help, you know, because like he, the you know he's that kind of person you know who takes action, he does things, you know, who live yeah, who basically lives in the moment. He doesn't live you know ahead when he's gonna die. I mean, he, I mean, I mean, he does have his funeral suit, but he doesn't live ahead you know when he's gonna die, but. And, I mean, there is that, but, you know, because he does have, like, cancer, too, so, 
I mean, there's that. He does think ahead because he does have cancer. But at the same time, he's like, you know, like I said, living in the moment. He's living life, you know, before he dies and all that. So, yeah. Um, this book, I think my opinion is, is more about, like, hope and learning how to live life while you still have it. And learning how, like, um, you shouldn't always worry about the future when you're going to die and all that. And so basically this book is both mostly about like how you should find help and all that and how you should um always live life and um yeah and so there's a lot of great reviews on the back of this book that I'm actually seeing right now. Um it's basically um um um, about teen teenagers accepting each other and um, learning to go through emotional physical ideals. So basically that's what it's about as well. And it's basically about how, like you, like I said, learning to find hope and living life while sometimes accepting each other and going through these, you know, physical and emotional ideal ideals that they have to go through because, you know, they don't have much time left to live, and so they basically, you know, live life to the fullest as best they can while they're so happy. And so, like, it's really sad, it's really, it's really tragic, um, really, really sad. From, like, the moment you read page one, it, like, it's already really sad. You know it's gonna be a sad book, just based upon, like, the first, like, page and all that, so it's gonna be, like, really sad, and all that, and... It's really sad because, like, the, when, like, um, Hazel and her, f um, love interest slash friend, um, go meet an author, he, he's all rude and, and arrogant towards them, and, like, you know, he's all drunk because he's drinking, and, because, yeah, and they, like, and, like, yeah, and so they go meet him in Amsterdam, Amsterdam you know. There, like I said, he's rude, and he's like, you know, he's been arrogant, and he, you know, is drinking, so yeah, and so they don't know why, and so then they said, oh yeah, yeah, so the assistant who works for him takes them to the Ed fake house, and they visit there, and you know, they see that, and all that stuff, and then, because eventually they figure, I think, I think at some point they do, I think, find out that, um, that the author who wrote the book in this book, who they, the author who they meet in this book, um, had a daughter who died of cancer at a young age, and that's what the book, it, that's what the book it was about when they go meet the author, because it was about, oh yeah, if she'd lived to her teenage years, and she had died as a teenager, rather than, oh yeah, a young girl, so yeah, and so it was really sad, really tragic, I would recommend this book, it's really good. Really good book. I mean, if you loved Paper Towns, if you had Paper Towns before Fauna Stars, then then this is another good book by John Green that you should read. This one's really sad. So, yeah. I would recommend reading this book if you already have it. And, yeah. So, um, I will be covering another book soon, and hope stay tuned. Click the like. Click the like button if you're enjoying this review. And or subscribe to my channel if you want to do that. So anyway, yeah, enjoy this book. Really love this book. Um, it's really good, really sad, really tragic. But at the same time, you find help and you find your peace of mind in this book. So yeah, I would recommend this book to anyone who um who who'd want to read it and want to enjoy it. So yeah. It's a really good book. I recommend it. So yeah, read it, love it, cry if you have to because it's gonna be sad. Just so you know, like I said before, it's sad. So don't worry if you're gonna cry. It's supposed to be sad. It's supposed to be really tear jerking. So yeah, it's sad. So yeah, it's a really sad book, but at the same time it's good. It's a good book. So yeah, so stay tuned next time, guys, for another book. And another episode of my book review. So, see you next time, guys.